Grade 7 Math, number 4.2a, Proportions and Rate of Change. A proportion is an equation that states two ratios are equal, they're equivalent. So it's a fraction, it's like a ratio, okay? So six miles over three hours is equal to two miles over one hour. Six over three is equal to two, and two over one is equal to two. So these are in proportion to each other. Six miles is to three hours as two miles is to one hour. See that? Those are ratios. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities using a quotient. Six divided by three is two. The quotient's two. And it's six is to three is a ratio. Six is to three is how that would be read, or six with two little dots like this, which is a colon, and a three. And that's a ratio, okay? It's the same way as saying six divided by three. Six is to three. A rate of change is how one quantity changes according to another quantity. They're in proportion with each other. They will have a proportional relationship. One rate of change will be constant. It'll stay the same. The ratio of one quantity to the other is the constant and it stays the same. So let's take a look at this. If this is really confusing, this will clear it up. Emma gets an allowance of $10 a week for doing her household chores. So we can make a chart that the amount earned over the number of weeks. So she gets $10 for one week and then there's $20 after two weeks, $30 after three weeks, 40 after four weeks, 50 after five weeks. And the amount she earned is in proportion to the number of weeks. See? And the change is constant. For each week, it goes up by $10. So the proportion of 10 to 1 is the same as 50 to 5. See? And by looking at week 5 over here, we can tell she makes $10 a week because 50 divided by 5 is 10. See? 10 over 1 is equal to 50 over 5. The rate of change is $10, and it's constant to the change in number of weeks. See? Does that make a little bit more sense? So they're in proportion to each other, the 10 over 1 and the 50 over 5, and there's a constant rate of change. See? How about this way? We have our amount of money is 25 cents compared to the number of quarters. If we have one quarter, we have 25 cents. If we have two quarters, we have 50 cents. Three quarters is 75 cents, four quarters is a dollar, and five quarters is a dollar twenty-five. And the amount of money is in proportion to the number of quarters, see? As the number of quarters goes up, the amount of money goes up in proportion to the number of quarters. And it's got a constant rate of change of 25 cents, see? And they have a proportional relationship. There's a constant rate of change as we add a quarter, we have 25 cents more. So, 25 over 1 is equal to $1.25 over 5, or 1.25 over 5. And we could say the ratio of 25 to 1 is equal to 1.25 to 5. See? 25 cents divided by a quarter is equal to $1.25 divided by 5 quarters. It's the same thing. So there's this constant of proportionality, and we call it K. And to show the value of K, we use this equation. K is equal to Y divided by X. So that would be 25 cents is equal to $1.25 divided by 5. And we use this equation, K equals Y over X, and the K is the 25 cents, the Y is the $1.25, the X is 5 weeks. So this variable K is the constant of proportionality. It stands for the constant rate of change between the ratio of y and x. See? This 25 cents is the change that's going to occur between the amount of money we have and how many quarters we add. We can also change this little formula around, this little equation around, and say y is equal to kx. That would be $1.25 is equal to 25 cents times 5. See? I'm going to flip it around. So, you're going to see this k equals y over x, and all it means is whatever the constant is, 
is going to equal the ratio of y and x. See? I'm going to talk about this a little bit more in 4.2b. I'm going to explain this a little bit more. We'll have some more examples. And this chapter is all about proportions and rates of change and that topic. Okay? So I hope this was clear. I hope this helped you understand. And don't forget I'm on Patreon.com if you want to help support Joanne's school. See you next video. Bye.